But it reminded me of a movie that I saw. And um, it's called, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's called Speak No Evil, right? And this movie, it had a moment at the end that it blew my mind. Like, you ever watch movies where, like, there's a moment and it's just, like, the hair. Like, if you can see, the hair is literally standing up. I've got goosebumps. The hair is standing up on my skin because it, it, this was such a good movie at the base level but what this person says and i'll explain it to you here in a second what this person says was a perfect encapsulation of of what is going on in portland so i'm not going to have any audio on this but i'm going to add this to the stream the movie is called speak no evil okay it came out in 2022 and you can find it on amazon prime and the premise of this movie is that two couples go on vacation, right? And they, they end up at this resort and they become, you know, pseudo friends while they're there. And then a year later, couple A invites couple B to their house. So like in, in the video of the trailer here, you're seeing like the people that are standing and, and that are taking that from the guy, that's the couple that's visiting. So the host couple is like, hey, you know, you have a kid, we have a kid, like they got along really well. Why don't you guys come and visit us at our house, stay for a week, it'll be a great time, right? So couple couple B like goes to that home and when they, when they get there right off the bat, you know, it's uncomfortable. Like the way that the host family raises their kids is a little bit different. It's not like crazy and it's not like anything that's too bad, but it's just, and there's just something about it um that doesn't feel right okay and it's like that in every regard like they go you know out to the beach and it's just the way that the couples get along it's just a little bit off right so the visiting couple the visiting couple throughout the movie um they they try to leave right and and like the host couple is not you know keeping them there they're not doing anything wrong it's just like it's not working out they don't feel comfortable and throughout the movie at three or four different times, they try to leave. And every single time that they try to leave, the host family talks them into staying. Like they, they rationalize things, they, you know, they apologize, you know, they beg them to stay. And every single time the visiting family decides to stay, right? Hang on one second here. So ultimately it gets to the end of the movie and you figure out that the whole premise, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a spoiler here, I'm sorry. The whole premise of the movie is that the host couple is involved in child trafficking. And what they do is they go around to all of these resorts and they kidnap people. They they basically like convince people to come back to their home. They keep them there. They end up kidnapping the kid and then they kill the family. And then they sell the kid off into like probably sex slavery or whatever, right? So towards the end of the movie when you figure all this out um they've they've already taken the kid from the visiting family right and so they've got the husband and the wife of the visiting family and they've got them out at this rock quarry and they have them walk down into this rock quarry and they have them stripped naked and they're about to be stoned to death it's a really really powerful moment like it's 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 really this movie's so well done. It's dark. Um, the pacing, I really love movies. The pacing is really good. But like this moment when you realize what's going on, like it's terrifying, right? So as they get down into this rock quarry, the husband of the visiting family looks at the husband of the host family and like he's trembling and his wife is trembling. And like, it's this moment where they both know that they're about to die. And he looks at the guy and he goes, why are you doing this to us? right and the host family the guy that's taken his child and is about to sell his child into sex slavery he looks at him and he says because you never stopped me and i literally i paused the movie and like it was so powerful because everything that you see that's going on in portland everything from the crime from the theft 
from the drug usage, the drug abuse, the the sex trafficking, the everything, the, the, the entire downfall of this city can be tied back to the fact that you get what you tolerate. Just like the fact that you have all those people in that video where that drug addict is smoking fentanyl five feet away from a child, five feet away from a group of people, regardless of if you feel that that person has the right to do that or not, that's irrelevant. He does not have the right to do that in a situation where a child, if the group of people want to stand there and inhale fentanyl smoke, knock yourself out. If the grown man that's sitting next to the child wants to sit there and inhale fentanyl smoke, knock yourself out. Everyone in the vicinity of that situation, including the person that was filming it, should have a problem with the fact that there was a child right there next to him inhaling fentanyl smoke. But you get what you tolerate. You get what you tolerate. No different than that situation that led to that family losing their child and ultimately losing their life. They ended up in that situation because they tolerated every small situation, every small transgression, every small red flag until ultimately the end result was that it cost them their child and their life. And that moment, wow, it was fucking mind blowing. It was mind blowing. And it seems very simple. Even when I'm reiterating it to you guys right now, that seems like common sense. It seems very simple. But that theory of placing a frog into a pot and slowly turning up the heat and how it will not get out of that pot, it will allow itself to boil. It will allow itself to boil if you turn the heat up slow enough. And guys, listen, this is not something that is just happening in Portland. This is something that is happening all across the country, guys. This is absolutely unacceptable.